When you launch WordFest Anywhere for the first time, you are greeted with this configuration. Use this dialog to set up your default languages for your first project. In this example, I am selecting English to French. You can decide here if you want a public glossary to be assigned to your project and also if you desire to use free uh, machine translations that are provided depending on your language pair. Once that's done, click on OK. An empty project has been created for you. You can come back to modify it at any time using this button. This project is the project you will use individually and add documents you want to translate. If you are assigned work by a project manager to see the work you've been assigned, please close this project. You see now a project that has been shared from your project manager. Double click on it and you will now see the file you have to translate. The hand icon underneath the file icon and underneath the translation memory and the glossary means that these resources have been shared with you. So in this example, a file has been shared with you along with a translation memory and a glossary. To start working on it, simply double click. Once the file is opened, to start translating it, you can select the first segment and double click on it. While you are translating, you will need to use the keyboard shortcuts or a button to go from seg1 to segment and for your segments to be saved and submitted to the translation memory. Go to this icon, start, next, you see the keyboard shortcut alt down. So if you press alt down, this will automatically save your segment, close it and open the following segment. This will now become your favorite shortcut. Press the alt key, maintain it and then press the down arrow key and witness your segment submitted to the TM and moving to the next segment. For long files, to navigate between segments, click View, Show Hide Outline, and you will see here the list of all your segments. Clicking on a segment will open it. When you are translating, if you prefer a different layout, go to View, Dock Layout, and select Vertical Layout. This will stack the view this way. You can also change it to the classic layout to review your work. Once you have it selected, you can go at the bottom right and toggle the view. So at the moment, we are looking at the bilingual view. If I toggle it once, I'm now displaying only the source. And now if I toggle it once again, I will now be displaying only the target. So if you want to review only the target segments, this gives you another option to do so. While you are translating, if you want to add a term to your glossary, in an open segment, just double click on the source and the target term and then use the Ctrl Alt T keyboard shortcut and this will prefill your form and you can save it this way. You can also do that by going to the TMs and Glossaries tab and click on Add Term. At any moment when you are working on your document, you can also perform a concordance check to see if a term or an expression is in the translation memory. Just go to the TMs and Glossaries tab, click on concordance, type your term, click on OK, and you will be able to see the matches that are found. If you need to communicate regarding a specific segment, it is possible to add notes and to read them. In this example, on segment 3, there is a note here in the I, as in information. If you click on it, you will see what has been written. You can also add a note yourself going into the Edit tab and click on Edit Note. And after that, click on Save. An important step before delivering your translated file is check it with automated quality checks. You can do that by going into the review tab and click on TransCheck. This will perform automated checks that can be configured ahead of time or you can use the default settings. That will help you to fix any potential issues within your file and hand out a quality translation. 
Once you are finished translating your file to deliver it, just close the file by going to File, Close. And in your project, have your file selected so that the whole line belonging to your file becomes blue and locate in, within your task this red icon. When you click on this, your project manager will be notified that you have translated the file and the file will completely disappear from your system. Once you click on this, you will no longer be able to work on that file unless your project manager assigns it back to you. After that, just close the project and you will see it disappear and you are back to the default project that you have created at the very beginning. To learn more about the use of WordFast Anywhere or other WordFast tools, please check the links in the video description.